get at me, man. <laughs> but the money. I got the white folks' money. I like my ass up. Coffers dance clothes When it all falls down And things fall apart Nigga, cuss and throw it And eat your motherfucking heart You think I'm lying? Damn, this a crazy ass life of mine As I'm looking through the yellow pages In the classifieds I know God will send something divine And when I get it, bitch Don't act surprised A lot of nights restless Living young and reckless Trying to maintain Cause this game need to guess it The weight heavy But I keep on at these rappers cause I really don't impress me The shit you spit typical so really y'all depress me Rhyme getting strong cause I'm tired of living less than them Less fuck a hater cause the Lord keep on blessing me I'm built for this life you still trying to find a recipe Rhyme Salathian Hills, better known to the world as Chaser. Been taking this music serious since about 2004. Uh, got my first taste of success when I created a profile on this website called AcidPlanet.com. I was 16 years old. Used to uh, upload songs and take over the Dirty South charts for like weeks at a time. That's why I met my homeboy Matt from Seattle. His name is Matt Gamer now. Together, me and him, we dropped a number of CDs, including my first solo CD, which never came out. 
And uh, <laughs> my first installment, though, to the Underestimated Volume 1 series, which did come out, and that started establishing a name for myself. Uh, collaborated with artists from California to New York. You know what I'm saying? Uh, middle school, though, was when this chasing and grind thing started. Uh, me and my homeboy Chris used to be in the PE class, beating on the table with the pens, and uh, me and some other students that used to sit there and freestyle to them. You know, before we knew it, we had the whole PE class listening to the shit we was doing. You feel me? At the middle school, we kind of like parted way, you know, not intentionally. I went to another school, he ended up going to boot camp in uh, 2007. It's when, for some reason, I just blowing his phone up, man. I'm just like, man, you talk to my dog. I ain't talking to my dog forever. Just blowing his phone. I call Chris in boot camp. I'm like, okay. Call Chris still in boot camp. You know, one day I called, uh, hold on. You know, he came to the phone. It's like, oh shit, what's up, dog? What you been up to? You know, come holler at me, man. You know, he came through. He was doing his thing. I was doing my thing. But, you know, when we first clicked back up, it was more on catching up, chilling, having fun, going to these parties, meeting people, you know, stuff like that. Then eventually, you know, his situation that he was dealing with wasn't going the way he wanted it. And my situation, well, my situation was a little different. It was just doing a whole lot of bullshit people. You feel me? So we... Just ended up doing this shit together, man. We dropped that underestimated volume three, break them off. And uh, that first song we put out, Grind All Day, man, people fell in love with that song, man. They fell in love with that. And ever since then, man, we just been going hard with it. You know what I'm saying? Bop, you know, shot the video to that. You know, Gumshoe Group, shout out to them. We've just been going at it since. You feel what I'm saying? Just been going hard. This music is, is what it is, man. You feel me? You listen to our music, that's not even half our potential. We can do anything. Anything. You can you can put any kind of beat on and we'll make a classic out of it. You know what I'm saying? We not playing with it. We real serious with this, man. You feel me? But chill. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it.
I see everybody know Chase. They know him, cause he be out, know what I'm saying? Cause he more open to me. I'm open, know what I'm saying? When I came out here, let's grind. Oh, that's grind, man, I been here about show. You like, you get your ass out of here. So, we get on stage, we do the show, and we pray. See, nobody else do that. See, niggas feel like they too good to pray. This is how we do. Before the song go, we on stage in front of everybody. We like this here. Pray. Everybody be like, what the fuck they doing? We praying. We thanking the man above five talents, man. Yeah, we did, man. We did bop. It's like, when we did the show, I don't know about him, I think he told me. I blanked out. Like, I, I, I'm rapping. I know I'm rapping. I know I'm on stage. Mm -hmm. But I don't see nobody. Don't I don't hear, hear nobody. nobody. Don't hear nobody. I just hear me. And I go. And I know when it ended, we passed the mics back. We was getting all this shit. Yeah, God damn, right? shit, man, that shit retarded, man. Let me get the CD. You know what I'm saying? Like, like stuff at cars and pilots. Look, and check this out. Everybody doing all that. And I still got the audacity to go ask my homie, we ripped that bitch? Because like I say, really? like I'll be in a whole other world when that stage. When I'm on we, that had stage a, we had a mic. state for interview and everything. Yeah, we, yeah, we get ready to roll. We about to, what we was about to go? We about to go eat somewhere. Yeah, but they were like, we about to go eat hey, somewhere. Man, wait, 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 come here, come here. I don't know the interview. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see that yeah. shit. My girl Chan got that, man. Shout out to all Brian Regiment. We want to see that interview. Yeah. We want to see that because I think there was her people that was uh, doing that shit. Says, security guards ain't the blood. It is what it is. Yo, you know, we ain't talking about that, man. But, but see, it's like when you're doing your thing, brother, when you're doing your thing, especially this Brian Star shit, when you do it from here, you got no choice but to feel it. Y'all boys. Y'all boys see us. Y'all see us. And y'all hear us too. You feel what I'm saying? Like one day I just woke up one morning and I just checked my Facebook like any other day and I just had to come to the conclusion. Like, we ain't got no videos on TV. They ain't spending all shit on the radio yet. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and I just had to come to that conclusion like, damn, man, we got fans, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, you got but, people in you know, Seattle, Washington, Florida, Georgia, Texas. Texas, Texas, Texas love our shit. Yeah. Shout out to Texas, man. Shout out to Seattle too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just chasing grind shit, though. It, it went deep. It went real, real deep, man. This grind stars run real deep, bro. This, like, real talk, like our boy Nick said, man. How many people that you still cool with from the seventh seven grade? Like, I real still cool. And, hey, bro, me and this dude. Man, I don't even feel like talking about it no man. Listen to the music. We coming with it. Listen. And, like I say, what you hear is that's not even our full potential. That's not even what we capable of. We are capable of so much And that's more. not saying it ain't good. I'm just oh, telling yeah, it's you. It's good, yeah. It's that's good. what it is. And you want some more, I'll give you 10 times more. Hey, put us in the studio. I'll be there with a sleeper bag and a pillow. I'll Let's bring get snacks it. and everything. I'll bring me one yeah. of the little, what it is, the little, the little heating things. Yeah. That you cook, cook the food oh, on. Hot plate. Oh, yeah, hot plate. Because you know hot I'm a plate. big motherfucker. I got to eat. Believe it. Gotta eat. You know what I'm saying? Brian Star. Camp out in the yo. You won't be a waste of your money. You bet that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with us. The next big thing pop. And, and then, everybody know it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody tell us. Man, bro, keep doing y'all thing. Keep all doing y'all thing. All you need somebody to do is to hear y'all. That's all I keep hearing. So we coming, though. And it ain't no joke. It ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? We, we do this. This mother, this, this music. Oh yeah, y'all look at that tattoo toe, by the way. Loyalty. You know what I'm but at the same time, just listen to that music, bro. Our music speaks for itself. We don't be We don't even be lying in our shit and our music still sound like a fucking Disneyland. Like a movie. You know what I'm saying? It sound like a goddamn movie. So, it's just what it is. It's like this, man. Check it out. Fucks with it, fucks with it. See when he tighten up on something? We tighten up. It's nothing. We love that. Don't tell us we go hard when you see this much yeah. to improve. Tell us what's happening. Yeah. And we'll make that pop, man. We don't play no games. We work, 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 work. All we need is the opportunity, baby. Brian Stars, Chase. For life. Yeah. Love. To have passion and desire, longing, and feelings for And a sense of emotional affection, want for fun towards the other person. What's so definitely? The harder I try, the quicker I fall. The more I want it, the less it wants me. So I say, fuck it, I'ma let it be. Put a 
what's on my mind. He won't let me free. Hit the liquor. It helped my mind ease, but not for long. Once the high is gone, it's right there. At the mirror, I stare. Like, fuck the world, cause nobody cares. Can I have one minute, one second when I crash in the record? Or maybe I'm just tripping again. You know, jumping to conclusions, causing myself frustration and confusion. Cause I'm a damn good nigga, but I ain't kissing your ass just to be with you. So baby, life goes on. Sometimes I feel that my heart should be gone. I pull a bite, I crawl, I scratch. But love don't love me back, baby, oh no. I'm trying to win this fight and keep my heart intact. But love don't love me back, baby, oh no. Your mouth teeth running and it's non-stop Fussing about bullshit But got the nerve to say that you was ever sick Girl, you tripping and I know I ain't start this Quick to say that you ain't nothing like the mother chicks But I guess I'm just tripping again Most girls say it's all fault in the end It seems independent is the new trend But you say you need a nigga and won't let me in And your heart fucked up cause I'm back then Acting like you care but you pretend Games ain't about to make a good blend It's all good, I'ma go hit my chin And the words on my mind I draw with my pen I feel I bite, I crawl, I scratch But love don't love me back Baby, oh no I'm trying to win this fight and keep my heart intact But love don't love me back It's time to give up. Another loss. Is it my fault? It's only right that a man should have a wife. But what don't make sense, most hoes ain't shit. Think about this a bit. We all want it, but we tend to resist. So before I waste another fucking breath, I'ma focus on loving myself. You say I never had time, but before you was mine, you knew that I was staying on the grind. You want to leave fine? I'm a grown man with a spine, and you ain't never gave me a dime. Loving you was a crime, and it's a real thin, thin line between bullshit and spending time. I gotta get mine. I ain't even in my prime. Ain't no way I'm about to let you stop my shine. Fuck that. I pull a bite, I crawl, I scratch. But love don't love me back, baby, oh no I'm trying to win this fight and keep my heart intact But love don't love me back, baby, oh no Yeah, Chase and Brian, them real niggas, believe that you know what I'm saying? I ain't out to rapping about none of that bullshit that these other niggas rapping about. They rapping about real life shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going on in the streets every day. You know what I'm saying? The shit other niggas scared to talk about. You know what I'm saying? They let niggas know that shit. It's cool to go to school. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to get a degree. You know what I'm saying? While these other bitch ass niggas out here telling niggas about doping, sell that. You know what I'm saying? But they living in million dollar homes. Come on, man. They being positive role models for niggas, you know what I'm saying? Most of the rap game they ain't got them no more. You know what I'm saying? When I listen to them niggas' music, I know what it is. I feel that shit, man. That shit pump my blood. That shit I can relate to. You know what I'm saying? I'm real, real niggas. Get it from the mud, bro. What the grind, dog? You ready to eat, dog? I don't understand why. You ready to eat? Same time, if you feel a, if you feel a song hard enough for you to steal it, why would you steal it and not just sign the artist? You, you can make more money doing that. You can make more money like that. That's you how they you do know it. You know what I'm saying? But if he in Baton Rouge and he steal our stuff, we gonna come see him. The only reason I say that about him is because what I heard about Master D. But I don't know nothing about Terry. I just met him one day. Like I say, I mean, we, it's nice to have a bullet shoot out there, but if you steal our stuff, we gonna come see him. Hey, yeah, D Ventures, ladies and gentlemen. D Ventures. This is called. Man, you real close. Got my pops right there, right there. That's Mr. West. Mr. West. That's Brian Singer. He was the woman.
I used to rap in class. <laughs> <laughs> and now we about to get rich. <laughs> now we about to get rich, y'all, mm. What up? The usual. Look, me and both. Miss Mr. Mr. Real class. Look. Man, I met Brian probably about three, four, five years ago. And I met Chaser through Brian, you know what I'm saying? And it was like when I first met him, you know what I'm saying? It was like just a mutual understanding with all of us that we all got the same dream and we all trying to go somewhere in life, you know what I'm saying? And the music they put out, that Chase and Grind put out, man, bro, it really got a message in it, you know what I'm saying? You could be going through anything. You could be at the highest of your high or you could be at the lowest of the low. And you could just put in their CD and just... Let the whole thing roll through no matter what you're going through. I'm talking about it could be like girl problems. I mean, whatever. You know what I'm saying? They rap about it. And that's the thing, you know what I'm saying? I think that'll really put them on top of the game. Because nowadays, man, bro, these dudes here be rapping about it just be foolishness. You don't need much getting no message from it no more. It seems like everybody just want to be a killer or a drug dealer. And in actuality, man, life bigger than what you walk outside and see every day. You feel what I'm saying? And I think that's the thing that they try to portray in their music. You feel what I'm saying? And I think that's what really, really keep them going. Just, you know, just motivation, man. But if you ain't got no motivation, you ain't got nothing. If you ain't got no motivation, how you gonna have determination? How you gonna have drive? It's like you gotta have a reason to do everything. You know what I'm saying? And I think in their music, that's what they, that's what they talk about. Hey, this your boy Chase. And this your boy Grind. And you're now watching Head First TV. Grind starts the life. Yeah. People are watching! It's your boy Side, you already know it's Head First TV. Doing our thing. Right now we with Grind Star Entertainment with your boy Chaser, with your boy Grind. And I got some couple questions I like to ask y'all guys. And how is it being a new artist on a scene in Baton Rouge? Can you elaborate on just the breakthrough process and, 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 and what y'all plan to do when y'all actually get broke through into this industry? Actually, like, as a solo artist, it's not as complicated, you know what I'm saying? But by me and him being a duo, it's just really, they don't know him, they know me. They don't know me, they know him, you know what I'm saying? Because solo ain't thing, like most of the dudes that's doing things, they know us, you know what I'm saying? But as a duo, it's kind of hard. But, to be honest, man, like when we do finally break through, man, we really want to bring this shit together, man. There's too much segregation going on, man. All that, there's a lot of rapper racist shit going on. Everybody picking favorites, shit like that. It's all about this money, man. You gotta, you gotta stand the bottom of the ball, but yeah, man. Living life is a long and a hard fight. So when you buy that bullshit, you gotta pay the price. And the nigga that me been fucking up my whole life. Had a chance to go to college, dropped out twice. Had a good ass job, left that bitch twice. And I ain't got no fucking excuse, I had the best advice. My downfall, celebrate about the haters. Bitch, I've been through more calls than your way to go through. I know that y'all currently got a, a hot blazing mixtape that's out right now. Can y'all talk about that and what was the process on making that mixtape and coming together and even selecting the songs for that mixtape? Break them off, man. It started off real, real, real slow. Really, waving on mixtape. It was a demo. We were getting to all that. It was a demo. You know what I'm saying? Four songs that we did. We want to try to do it. We just trying to get the demo that the situation ain't play out, play out. I'm going to just go in and say it. I ain't going to put nobody out there like that, but it started off as a demo, like you say. It was a label who was, you know what I'm saying, and, and apping our mind up like, yeah, man, we got y'all. Do this, do We did everything. And the day, still like, turn out. You know, we charged to the game. We kept moving. 
So thank you though. Thank you. Thank you for that. Really, yeah, real talk. Appreciate that. Because uh break them off, man. We doing numbers out here. We ain't selling it when I say numbers, yeah. I'm talking about they floating around, man. Floating around. Everybody hitting up really love it. And like when we we start doing the mixtape, really, because he was going through some family we're going through right now. So most of the songs you hear. Real life stuff, and they bought me talking about your, your current mixtape that you feel you know with y'all like. What's y'all favorite? Loaded, never breaking down. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my dog, see, folks, shout out, you know, third life. I see her life in the building. You know what I'm saying? Um, him on that me, of course, you no, know, that's all about people trying to talk down to you, make you feel like you ain't gonna achieve what you're trying to achieve. But that song means you will never break me down no matter what you do. And the way I wrote that hook, <clears> man, is I was going through some stuff, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, I don't want to really say who it was. It was a family member. And you would think a family member would be more motivation. Be the one. And uh, just was talking all kind of foul shit to me, you know what I'm saying? And telling me how I need to stop dreaming and, and this and that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, you trying your hardest, but you ain't going to break me down. You know what I'm saying? And grind all day. That's my favorite. You was talking about favorite. That's my favorite track. Grind all day. I, I love that. Man, I I just lost like child. My car got took. I could have went crazy or so called whatever, but instead. I put all of my music. So what's the? So how can they get y'all music? How can they hear? How can they hear that break them out? You can go to myspace.com backslash grindstars backslash chaser or backslash Chris Silk. All you can hit up the Facebook and search for Chaser and Grind. Right. It ain't that hard. It really ain't. If you don't have our shit, you just don't want it. You know what I'm saying? It's it ain't up, hard. It's, 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 it's right there. You can go to Google and you can type in Chaser and Grind. Free. Yeah, you got man. ringtones. Just how I let them. Shout out to the rest of the team, you heard me. This is KIC, you know what I'm saying? Big Al. Big Al. That Flatland, you know. Shout out to Derek. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Herbo. Yeah. Shout out to Max Manelli, man. Shout, Shout out to Savage. It. Shout out to everybody really? who's rolling with us, man. Shout, Shout out, out to, to the Jay, city. Man. You, know, you know what I'm saying? You supporting us. What up? We got you. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, boy. And you heard it here first. It's Head First TV. Chase him. Grind. People are watching. Oh, what it do, man? Thank <laughs> you. 
That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm glad you brought that up. Because Bop, the original Bop, like everybody heard with two verses on it, that was always a sound. DK1 was always supposed to be on the third verse since we made the song. You know what I'm saying? But, um, Oh, so what, what are y'all plans for this music? What are y'all plans for? I know y'all uh, got your hot press up, y'all selling it, y'all playing things, promotion. Like, what are your plans? I know you know how to show us. Tell us about your plans. Well, push it, push it all as we can. Continue putting your face in shooting videos, and you'll see us, we'll be out here. People take hold of it. We ain't got to do too much. Like, the people told us that the boss was the song. People told us to be here for like, we ain't say that we gonna push that nigga. Like, yeah, but we like that. But people coming to us. So we got people. Our first single, you know first saying? video was supposed to be grind all day. And people feel that people fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? But everybody was like, nah. Bop, bop. And, and, you know, we ain't chose none of our singles. The people chose our singles. You know what I'm saying? The people chose Bop and the people chose the people. So we gonna get the people what they want. And I appreciate everybody out there fucking with this grind star dude. Y'all can listen to our shit and tell that everything comes from the chest. Out the gate. But we say that's what we mean and we mean what we say. And you see these people right here? <laughs> these people behind us? They the same faces y'all been seeing since my space. Old times, man. Every picture that you see with these one these the same motherfuckers in now. Literally. And to everybody who turned their back on them, fuck y'all. And then what it is? No years too, bitch. How y'all doing? All right, yes, we'll pick it up, dude. Hey, give us some uh, information on the loop. Get the mixtape where we can get your Twitter, your Facebook, and all your information. Contact you after you see this. Post. My Twitter is uh, Twitter backslash Chaser C H A Y S U H. My Twitter, Twitter backslash Ryan Go Get Them. And uh, Chase and Ryan got their own Twitter. Twitter.com backslash. I said Twitter Chaser. Ain't gonna play. But I'm just saying though, it's Chaser and Grind. C H A Y S U H A N D G R I N D. Twitter.com backslash baby. Get to Facebook. Get to YouTube. Check out the video. You can catch pictures of Bop on IG. Like I said, Bop is on YouTube. Check out the video. You can catch Bop on iTunes. You can catch Bop on Amazon MP3. You can catch us chilling with Gumshoe. You can catch us in AAA fucking with PK1. You can catch us everywhere. We everywhere. We people people. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lafayette, shout out to Lake Charles, Streetport, shout out to Houston, Texas, shout out to Florida, shout out to everybody who hollered from outside of Louisiana Rock. Shout out to Grind Stars too, baby.
Town of Seattle, you know, looking a little rough and shit, you know, along the edges, but man, it's because I've been grinding, you feel me? Nah, but uh, real talk, man, my boys chasing and grind, man, them, them is my dudes, man, you know, they they definitely hands down one of the most talented up-and-coming groups that I've been able to witness, you know what I'm saying, I've been in the studio with them, and just their creativity and, and their originality as a whole is just impeccable, like, there's not... There's really not even a lot of duo rap groups these days because everybody wants to be that dude. Everybody wants to be the hot solo artist. You know what I'm saying? So you don't see a lot of rap groups anymore. But when you do, very rarely do you see a group that that is just so intertwined with each other's styles that just goes together perfect. Like, you know, Bun B and Pimp C or Outkast, Andre 3000 and Big Boy or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And and I think they really possess that that magic that it takes to have a have a hot ass group and a duo. You know what I'm saying? Chase, I've known, I knew Chase before I knew Grind. I've known Chase now um, probably about eight nine years, maybe more than that. Um, it's been you know what I'm saying. We started off doing a lot of shit together way back in the day, and then through that process, I was able to uh, you know meet Grind and 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 witness their 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 work together. You know what I'm saying. And I had fell off. I used to make beats for Chaser back in the day too, and I had fell off doing that. And all of a sudden, Grind came in and he was just just killing them with beats. I'm like, man, who's this guy you got with these beats, man? He's like, that's my boy Grind. I'm like, man, he's he's doing his thing, right? So, you know, anyways, you know, they, them as a group are just, they're just so original, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not just saying that because those are my boys and I fuck with them. I'm saying that because I have an eye and an ear for talent and they possess that, you know what I'm saying? And their music as a whole is just, it's, it's really versatile, but it's it's still so, they, 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 have a, they have this ability that, this is how I kind of explain it to people. They have this ability where when they do music, they can make a real ass song into a club song. If that makes any sense. Like, they can talk about some real ass shit, like some deep ass shit, but it'll be like a club song. Like, you can still be at the club and, you know what I'm saying, knock you a bitch to this shit knocking, but it's telling you something too at the same time, you know what I'm saying? And and I think that that's one, one of their, their main keys into their creativity and their craft is the fact that their music has that, that bounce in that in that club feel, but also if you listen to what the fuck they're saying, they're really telling you something, you know what I'm saying? And um, personally, I mean, those are my guys, man. We all part of the grind stars, man. You know, we label mates, we family, we brothers. You know what I'm saying? We're all guys. We're close as shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, they just, they, they really got it going on right now, man. They're doing their thing. And um, shit, I couldn't be more proud of them, man. You know, them guys have came a long way. You know what I'm saying? They was moving just just little CDs. Now they, you know what I'm saying, getting recognition and notoriety and all this shit. And they, you know, they they really been doing their thing and blowing up, packing shows. You know, I'm proud of my guys, man. They came a long way. And you know, Chaser and Grind is definitely, I think, one of the hottest up and coming groups in this in this game. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, there's not a lot of groups coming out these days. So very rarely when one does come out. It's as hot as Chaser and Grind. You know what I'm saying? Dig that. Matt Gamer, Grind Stars for Life. Holla. <laughs> 